Emerson College commemorates 60 years of the civil rights process, the only way an arts and education school knows how at the Semo Theater. Listen, if Brown v. Board of Education put an end to segregation, then tell me why there are no brown skinned faces sitting at this table with all them Megans. <laughs> Hi, Megans. Got a little lighter on my feet, got a little happier when the bass would hit, the four tops was spinning, little Stevie was clapping and the miracles was slide. From rap to folk music and from economics to personal politics, Victory Stride presenters ran through a range of emotional performances reminiscent of the civil rights struggle. Rise on the prize, hold on, hold on. We allowed the gays to get married that could threaten conventional marriage. Really? How? <laughs> African American Studies professor Roger House, who organized the events, sees Victory Strides as a means to identify the work that still remains for the younger generation. I wanted them to walk away feeling moved, and I wanted <laughs> them to, um, to walk away feeling that there was um, some chance for, for them to be involved in some small, some small measure in helping to, um, to bring about the dream. Journalism professor Carol Simpson, appearing I'm first in 1960 civil rights attire, says the civil rights work it's of that time was hard fought and hard won. Uh, because I'm race is still the biggest unfinished let business shine, of this nation. Let it shine, let it shine. Again? No. A vast like, range of different performances and speakers that spoke today. I thought they really did a great job of like, touching on a lot of different subjects and um, issues in today's society. For Emerson College, this is Laura Onyenaho. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We know that we shall.